That was loud. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I have to say that, like, in times of love and cholera, which is what I'm calling this, um, just times of love and cholera, I have a fucking theme song. Like, <laughs> like that's, that's just cool. I mean, I know that I wrote it, so anybody could, like, ha I mean, Anthony Norman did, too. But anybody could have one. Like, you just have to write it. Do, are but, you a Family Guy fan? No. I mean, there yes, were, but I don't watch one, comedy. There was one episode where Peter Griffin was like, he wanted to have a theme song everywhere he went. So we'd walk around. It was like, <laughs> doom, 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 doom. it was, it was amazing. That's what reminded me. It reminded me of that. Now, listen, stop talking. You're a producer. Okay. Mm. Nobody wants to hear from you. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Josh Swallows Broadway. Um, hi, we are back to live streaming our second event. I'm really excited about this. It's with Shoshana Bean and Megan Hilty. Woo and this is my uh, baby angel, best friend, uh, producer. Um, he's the best. He's in Brooklyn. We miss each other. He has kids that torment him, and I have cats that think I'm one of them now. Anyway, before we start, I just wanted to give like a huge shout out to our new Patreon supporters. Um, thank you. You're helping keep the show alive. Um, you are helping me not go to the Actors Fund. <laughs> 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 um, so let me pull them up. Uh, Sarah, Bex, Meg, Lauren, Laura, Avery, Ali, Sarah, David, Shannon, Justin, Natala, Sam. Sam, you were our first one. Um, it means so much. You have no idea. Thank you for believing in the show. Thank you for supporting us. And if you want to come on board, you'll get a lot of silly videos from me. Um, we get to Skype and stuff. And that's just www.patreon.com slash Josh Swallows Broadway. Yay! Yay! Now, without... Is there anything else that we need to discuss, Alan? Uh, you can plug your next one of these. Oh, okay. Well, guess what's coming up on Wednesday night at 9 o'clock? It's going to be incredible. Um, we are going to have some members of the Broadway company of company 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 lots of company no one can see company because we're quarantined quarantine talk company right now it'd be like bobby i'm not coming over <laughs> sorry bobby like happy fucking birthday what if company was all done on zoom that's sort of the new way of things. <laughs> It'd be, it would be kind of like what Network did, right? Everything's just on the screen behind you. I didn't see it because I can't afford it, but thanks for rubbing that in. Anyway, um, so without further ado, I want to bring in uh, this woman has like changed my life over and over and over again. And the fact that like she was my like my alphabet, like I got to watch her put in, I got to what? Um, she's one of my favorite people. She's a hero. She's a strong, incredible, beautiful soul. Ladies and gentlemen, Shoshana Bean. Hi. Hi, my friend. <laughs> Thank you for that very generous introduction. Dude, you have no idea. I still remember the first time that I saw you. And you have to keep in mind, I pretended to not be a fangirl. <laughs> very very hard like i it was the best acting i ever did and um like i remember watching you pull up to the hotel in tempe oh my god i thought i was there before you but you were already in you are i was there i was about to go into the show because oh, I, I was closing out uh julia and kendra were on their way out yeah. and then we were all starting together okay. in your hometown well, yes. sort of your hometown. Seattle, right? Do we go to Seattle? Uh, Portland. Or Portland. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The home of Beaverton. Beaver I remember Town. Tempe. You guys, for the record, Tempe was so hot that the equity law stated that we could not walk from our hotel 
to the venue, which wasn't even but a mile, right? But it was the temperature was so high in mid to late August in Tempe that they were requi- required to give us rental cars. I mean, I had a shared rental car, but these bitches didn't tell me none of that. I walked to that theater for my put in, and it was 115 degrees. They hazed you. That was I- you know, like. <laughs> I carried bagels to that fucking oh, put-in for people. What a good Jew. That I know. Appropriate. We buy their love with food. Yes. That's right. <laughs> but I'm not going to eat anything. I, I'm, I'm not staying. I'm not having cobs, but you need no, to. No, no, no. You, please, please. You're dancing. Come on. You're dancing for me, honey, booby. I'll binge later when I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. When I'm alone and when no one can see. The tears. The tears. <laughs> um, so I see Barbara on your body. Naturally. Where did you get that? Coach came out with these, I think, uh, in the, uh, is it the winter or the spring collection? I don't know. J-Lo was wearing it. And if J-Lo's wearing Barbara, uh, it's my best life. So it. That's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I have the Coach Keith Herring bag, but I'm just <gasps> like. It's everything to me. He's my hero. Oh, wow. Good snag. Good snag. Because those things go. Like, you got to jump on it when it happens. I know. Dish, you know. Now, can I tell you when my obsession with you began? <laughs> Is that awkward? <laughs> <laughs> it was Off-Broadway Godspell. Oh, wow. And it was the cast recording. The Watika Ao. Whatever that was. Watika Ao. That's how I would, like, talk to people. Oh, Seth Radetzky calls it the Foghorn Leghorn. What? Uh, was- the the cartoon. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll try and find a clip of it. Foghorn okay. Leghorn. He's like a chicken. <laughs> uh, it was heaven. <laughs> it was. It was oh, very God, much yeah. like. You know, some people talk about finding Christ when they're in prison, and for me, when I was working three jobs, like I found you. <laughs> I found. <laughs> <laughs> and I listen to it all the time. And hear me out. I'm not a Godspell fan. I've been in it a million times. <laughs> That's what he thinks the riff reminds him of. Well, I'm sorry, but he's wrong. Sorry, Seth. Okay, now I'm going to pull up audio of Foghorn Leghorn so you understand. How? <laughs> now that is a good producer. Well done, Alan. Well done. Oh, Foghorn. just for that tonight, I'm not coming over, but I'm going to put on some sexy me undies. Is he your boyfriend? No, he's married with kids. I'll find it. We just or maybe pretend. your fancy producer will. We we pre- oh you you want the foghorn leghorn? I'm noise? challenging you to find an appropriate audio clip of foghorn leghorn that will exemplify. I say I say I accept that challenge. Okay, See, he knows that's why. I, oh, 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 if I sound like a stutter to him, no, that's so stupid. It sounded like God to me. It was like what's like ah ooh, sure, and sure. um God, it was heaven. <laughs> so when I watched you get out of that car. And you were so nice. The driver got out your luggage and then you shook his hand and looked him in the eye. I remember this because I was outside like in shock going like, oh, my God. You have to keep in mind that the hotel. Yeah, it was right. Oh, because I was like, we didn't have a driver to the theater. (laughs) No, no, it was right um, outside the hotel. And, um, you know, for me, like this was my first like big job. You know, I'd been doing regional stuff, but I'd never met people that I, like, admired from afar before. And to me, like, I say this all the time, I was like, oh, that Shoshana, she looks like somebody that's on Broadway. You know, (laughs) I bet she hasn't cried in 20 years, you know? And oh, uh, and now you know that people on Broadway cry all the time. More than most. <laughs> more than anyone else. I always like to say, tears before bedtime, dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, hang on, Meg's texting me. She's trying to download and it's not trying working. Trying to get in, it's not working. Wait. Are you using Chrome? Way to make an entrance. I'm here. Hi, baby. It's you. How are you? I see you. You're breaking up. 
I, I wish there was I something watching me do that. <laughs> <laughs> be entertained. <laughs> I'm sweating. You know what? It still works, though. She's still brilliant. She looks gorgeous. Um, as she okay. Oh, there you are. Oh, huh? Huh? Okay. Um, this is a shit what? show. <laughs> this is great. This is embarrassing. No, it oh, isn't. It's perfect. I don't know what you're. Alan will help her. you. Alan's going to help you. Alan, fix it. Alan, do you want to see can, pictures of me and my me undies? Can you move closer? Oh, she's gone. I hope she texts me. Okay. Okay. Well, go find her. All right. Find her. Um. Yeah, but you were so, both you and Megan were so rad and welcoming and loving and kind. Um. I think it was right around your birthday. Didn't we eat at yeah. IHOP to celebrate or something like that? Or a chili? Really? Oh, how awful. It was, yeah, it definitely was around my birthday. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we even went on a hike. I remember the hike. Oh, my yeah. Gosh. That's very oh, LA. Yeah. Chunks of my life. Yeah. I'm yeah. Uh, I'm not even a, a huge, uh, a huggy, huggy person, but um. I mean, hikey, 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 oh. hikey, hikey, not huggy, you huggy. huggy. You're very you know huggy. me. I'm fucking, I need it. Day 17, I would literally pay somebody's rent for a year oh. to hug them for an hour. Are you touch deprived? Yeah, my cats are doing okay. I have to rub myself in treats for them to come over because they're a little sick of me. But I hate cats. That's exactly why. You don't hate them. You don't hate them. All um, right, hate is a strong word. Yeah, I just never laughed harder than watching. Oh, what was it? Luis? You and Luis. Oh my gosh, were like the best comedic duo on earth. I feel like it was Luis and Celise that were the best comedic duo. They were, but in your dressing room, when you would get painted, the stuff that I mean, that boy and you. Uh, like, I wish I could just, like, bring you guys together again. I don't you know, know? What, what kind of disaster. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Not what I expected to happen. I was like, Greetings and salutations. <laughs> You're alive. I am alive in, in Astoria. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, baby. How are you doing? Oh, my I'm God. Good. It's like, it this is, is your life. Late night television. Ooh, sexy. Yeah, that's hot. Here we are. <laughs> late night television. Hi, everybody. You Hi, are babe. giving me a strong porn stash right now. Listen, I grew it out for um, Men's Heritage Month in November, also known as Movember. <laughs> um, and it just kind of stuck. And here I am with, with this new, you know, what what uh what are my new breakdowns are young Danny Trejo which I'm like okay oh ay yeah yeah which is well, like well, a huge compliment and also I'm like troubling okay. all at the same we're, time we're still, we're still here <laughs> wow <laughs> well I didn't really know who he was outside of like the donuts and the tacos so I'm like well <laughs> now ladies and gentlemen at home. Uh, this is Luis. He was in Wicked with us. Um, he's one of the most incredible dancers, actors, performers, producers, people, producers, um, everything. All flashes. He's a good. He's a good man. I was about to call you a boy, but you're not a boy anymore. Boy chick, you're a man. I don't even know what I am these days, to be honest with you. In this quarantine, like I had to shave. Like I shaved like my beard today. Like I looked in the mirror and I was like. Between, I put a hat on because I know that Shoshana doesn't like it when I have long hair. So between like- How long is it? Let me see it. Oh, I don't hate it. I think it looks really like, good. The listen, thing about Luis is like, he looks hot no matter what. It doesn't really listen, matter. And I was like getting ready to go, prior to the apocalypse, I was getting ready to go to Diva Sean, the curl experts to learn about- Oh, curl yes. Patterns, what kind of, you know, have somebody cut to my curl. Sure. And then I was going to go- um, I think I was planning on going like the Friday, like two weeks ago. And, you know, they were like, it's going to be 175. And I was like, well, let me hold on from that because I don't know what's about to happen. 
And I, you <laughs> know, might end. I might need that buck 75. I might, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you glad you saved it? I mean, I mean honestly, like, I, it's gone into, I've turned into like I in a garden. I wake up every morning and have like. <gasps> Woo! Where are going to work? Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Megan Hill team. Oh my God, this is my fucking nightmare. <gasps> Download this. Open that. Put it in the application folder. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. And then go get your headphones. <laughs> cheers, family. Cheers. 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 <laughs> oh. We can swear, right? We're we're allowed to swear. Girl, the name I of the show so. is Just Swallow. I have Water. to go. Oh fuck <laughs> that. No, you're staying with me. It's great night. Forever. <laughs> Hey guys! Oh my Hi. God! <laughs> Luis just popped in real quick to say hi to Shoshi and hi to you. It's been a long time. Where are you? In Astoria. Oh shit! <laughs> so I used to live there. Me too. <laughs> Wait, are you really? I yeah, I used to live on Forty Sixth and Broadway. <laughs> I am at Ditmars right now, which I don't know yeah. where that is exactly. I'm still, like I've been back in New York since like January of last year, and I've like been recently introduced to Astoria, which is a whole new ball game for New York. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But honestly, like coming from LA, I'm like, oh wait, I can have an apartment with like skylights and like the ability to like grow a tomato if I want to, and you know, the subway's outside, so I can kind of pretend that I'm driving, you know. Sure. Yeah, the subway's just sure. like having a car. Just like just, having a car. Just until just that, like you know. That. Swear that more. In your mouth, you're like, oh, we're back in New York. We have a fan request from Jamie Dumont to swear more. Fuck yeah, Jamie. We're going to fucking, <laughs> fucking swear. Fuck. I just made the sticky. Um, <laughs> you don't have to tell you. me to swear I'm, more. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. I'm fucking done. Fuck. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm good. All things considered. I mean, like, uh, I am now a full-time kindergarten teacher. You can see my daughter's artwork in the back. If I showed you the rest of the room, we're working on sight words and the ch word family. Um, <laughs> we're growing crystals for science. I mean, uh, like I'm, a, I'm, mm. I'm a full-time teacher. Like I, I wake up in the morning and we, Luckily, her school has um, has like uh, put together lessons and stuff for us to follow, and like we have stuff. But now we're on sp spring break, so we have nothing. So I'm putting together a lesson plan for the next two weeks, just for like half days, just so that we don't devolve into like yeah. <laughs> madness. I, I mean, yeah. And uh, Ronan, we took this opportunity to potty train Ronan, uh, so. So we transform. We have a little tiny guest house, and we transform this into the classroom. Uh, and so me and Vi have been here all day, every day. And inside, it's literally been a shit show because <laughs> <laughs> Brian has been potty training Ronan, and it's what he's like almost like like Ronan is this big, but he's a surfer, and he like he's a he just he's given a, a really a good fight, but Brian has won, and now he's pissing and shitting in his own little teeny tiny. <laughs> That's what my <laughs> life is now. <laughs> well, yeah. I've started reading uh, the Ruffalo and other stories to like my friends, kids, and my nieces and nephews. If you ever Tired. need somebody to, <laughs> yeah. oh, no, for free. Everything's yeah. for free now. Donate to the Actors Fund. Everything's for free, bitch. Um, oh, my God. All of us in the same room together virtually. <laughs> I mean, it's been a minute. It was, I think the last time we were all in the same room was like Bush second term. I remember. I um, didn't even know what you were talking about for a second. I, I was like, no, a minute to... <laughs> and those were the good old days, guys. Those were... The good old days. I know. I those know. were the good old days. No, we were in uh, Toronto, and was it... Um, the matzo ball? <laughs> the matzo ball! 
<laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I, I'm forgetting chunks of my life. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's very scary. But oh. yes, I recall the matzo ball. What I remember most <laughs> is that song that I think Celise and Chelsea wrote for you two, Your Goodbye, where it was like, because you're leaving, the show won't be any good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we we, such a special group of people. Like, that doesn't happen all the time. It was really... Yeah, that was... Special. You know, you said something at the beginning before Megan Louise jumped on, which was you, you thought that we came in with so much love and openness and but like we walked into that like we walked into it really? with people who were like loving and open and funny and excited to have us there and like it was just a whole different vibe on the road that made me I mean, we brought a lot too i mean we i mean we brought i mean you guys brought a lot you brought a little purse you got like a red dress and a green dress that very first day i remember the two oh, of you oh yeah like, who are these cats you can't get away with shit with Louise. You can't. Nothing. Nothing dies with Louise. Nope. Nothing. Nope. Nope. Thank goodness. No, the night terrors come back at like two thirty in the morning, and I'm like, "Who are these memories?" <laughs> <laughs> Thank God someone remembers because I'm losing it. Oh. Me too. I, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna bring back some photos. Oh no. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, oh, are you ready? Oh, Shoshana might be mad at me. Shoshana might be mad at me. She <laughs> might be mad at me. My hips don't if you lie. I, I want to do this. Oh, I'm trying to open my God. it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. What did it says, it says my hips lie. lie. Right. Remember when I tried to be a brunette for a year? More true religion genes. Let the record reflect. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm everyone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> True religion. I died. Really? I died. True religion. Um, again, oh. Alan says that if you want, you can text him the pics and he'll put them on the screen. Oh God. <laughs> oh really? Do we want that, Shoshana? Do we need? Do we need that? Like, it's fine. I, I can. I can eat my heart out when I was twenty pounds thinner. <laughs> I mean, right? It's so. I'm looking at our stomachs. Like, oh my God. Do you know what's really sad? When I look at pictures like this, like uh, at at those those girls, um, I, I look at me and I'm like, oh, you thought you were huge. Yeah. You thought oh. you were like fat and disgusting and gross and like, you yeah. poor thing, you were adorable. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. It's like, it makes me so sad that I spent so much of my life like feeling like that, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, that, anyway, just not to get too no. deep. I'm That's with you, I'm totally with you. But like, I always look at those chunks and go like, yeah. When are you gonna get like you're wasting? Yeah. You're, you're missing it because you're. Yeah. yeah. It's sad. Yeah. It's super, yeah. sad. super sad. I was always very big <clears throat> throughout my life, and that year I called it the year of the twink. I did Atkins. I lost all my weight very rapidly, like, but I couldn't see it. And yeah. then when we were on tour at that time, like, I remember, like, I just hated myself. I felt like I was so disgusting. I felt like I was so fat and gross and like the grossest Bach and like every picture. I was like, girl, stop sucking in your cheeks. You look beautiful. Why do you do this? Yeah. And the same thing. I all do that at that age though. It's like, I look back at the like, same thing like as everybody. It's like, I look back at those pictures and I'm like, what was I complaining about? <laughs> like, what, what, like nowadays, like my biggest concern is like, oh God, my hit, like I can't bend down too quickly because my knee's going to go or like, oh, but it's my sciatic. <laughs> <laughs> So children who are listening, take heed. Don't miss it. Don't you're cute. Miss you're cute. All of a sudden, you're like, it's oh, only yeah. gonna go downhill from yeah. here. Yeah. Enjoy. You're cute. Yeah. yeah. Or like the, the time to learn self love, and I do mean like learn and practice self love is now, and that's if you're young, if you're old. I started very late in life, and I'm still learning. But practice self love. Okay. But that absolutely because now I, I that makes me look at myself now going don't waste any time now because later you're gonna look back and say you were great like you're fine so don't waste it at any time you're yeah. fine yeah. you're always fine like especially now photos, that sorry. now that we're at home there's so much pressure I think for people to like well why haven't you written an opera oh, you God. know. 
Listen, yeah. first week to, to today has been quite the journey. Like I woke up that first Monday and I was like, all right, I'm going to sign up for a free course mm -hmm. on like the study of a fellow at Harvard. I'm going to write a screenplay. I am going to cook my way through like, you know, kind of like Julie and Julia. I'm going to do all of the stuff. I have done nothing. And that's just fine. And I am fine. And that's today, just fine. You know what? Yeah, you know what? I, I think... I'm actually, I, I've like many people have gone through the myriad of emotions, you know, everybody has. And I'm kind of uh, right at this moment and it could change, but at this moment I'm actually, and bear with me for this, uh, for a moment, I'm actually kind of grateful for this. Um, I, I know it's scary, it's deeply scary. I have friends in the hospital right now. I, right. I'm not grateful for that, like don't get me wrong. But I, I am grateful that there is something that is forcing us to stop for a second, at least most of us are stopping. Um, and and really, I, I have I am now so deeply grateful for so many things that I took for granted before. We are living in the in, like I, I just I'm, I'm I'm grateful for a lot of things that that I just took for granted. That's all that's yeah, all I'm going to say. I'm going to I'll stop waxing poetic, but no, girl. I, I actually I'm I'm grateful for this moment to stop and I have like really given myself a break. I'm I all my one job is to keep my kids still like having some kind of normalcy, you know, like and I'm actually grateful for that too. The structure that that forces me to have. I'm actually more tired than I've ever been. You know, people people I have been inundated with things like make a video for this, make it this for that, make it this. For, and it's like, you don't, you don't understand that. Like I, I actually have zero time. And now when I'm done with my day, I just want to go to bed and I don't yeah. want to, I don't, I want to be supportive of everyone obviously, but I like these days are so different now. It's not, why am I still talking? I'm just talking, talking. So sorry. No, Somebody else talk. I'm sorry. It's beautiful and we love you. And, um, you know, you're very special and, um, we're, we're all here and we've all got you and support you and love you and, um, except Luis, you know, <laughs> I, know. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. yeah. On the opposite end of that, I was going to say for the first time in my life, I'm actually caught up on sleep. Um, isn't that great? I guess I'm like, I don't I mean, think I need to sleep today. I just <laughs> like uh, what, like I'm I, okay. My cats think I'm a cat. I told this to Shoshana. They literally think I've become one of them now. <laughs> um, but speaking of the matzo ball, I know Luis has to leave us in a minute. Um, oh, oh, Luis. So Where the hell are you going? Here? Yeah, no what, one are you has hot day anywhere to be, Luis. <laughs> unless <laughs> you've taken on the job of a call boy. <laughs> Listen, if only, but I'm quarantined. Um, listen, Ina Garden, like I said, I've been watching a lot of her and I have to finish, I have to figure out how she finishes cocktail hour <laughs> with good ingredients. Hashtag it's, priorities. It's yeah, no, it's a it's thing. Yeah. It's the life that she has. Like this entire two weeks, I've been watching her and I'm like, this is what I want out of my life. Like I want to like wake up in the morning and like go to my garden and get my herbs and then like, make an ambrosia salad for lunch and then like cozy into like an afternoon cocktail with like vodka and Cointreau and like a shaker. And Oh my God. I want to live in a catalog. <laughs> I'm going to Venmo you after this. <laughs> you had the space and time to stop running the race. Yeah. Like actually see what makes you happy and actually learn what matters to you. You know, I feel like the playing field has been leveled. There's no where to get to. There's no, where to compete or wh there's no what nothing to win or there's plenty to lose right now but there's yeah. like nothing to win that carrot that we chase kind of in circles like it's gone well so now it's not important can... yeah it's not as important as we thought yeah yeah when it comes down to like it's the health a different of your thing, family yeah. and your children continuing to to evolve yeah. and grow and and what like genuinely makes you happy and when all those sort of distractions and things that you thought brought you pleasure are removed um it's just really incredible to find what actually lights your fire and and that that's sort of like in the source of joy is like it's not without it's you yeah. know yeah yeah so I love hearing that, Luis. I'll come visit you in Italy. 
Yeah, Wait, fuck yeah. When it reopens. <laughs> we love you, Luis. I love you, I love you Lulu. Oh. Good to see you. Bye. Love you, Louis. Hi, baby. Alan, pull up this picture of the matzo ball. Oh, God. I, I don't, guys. I gotta say, I don't. I don't that's remember not the matzo ball. Lots of ball. No, but Mace, that was. The I don't know three if you were Jews. there. Mace. I don't think. I don't think I was. I was. In I think you left so. town for something, or you might have gone back to the city. My mom was in town. My mom and my bubby were there, <laughs> and they made a ton of latkes, and we did it at. In Toronto? House? Yeah. Yeah, we did it at uh, my house that I yeah, shared with Josh. Jonathan Ritter. And oh, right, right. Boys. Okay. Yeah. yeah Alan, yeah, yeah. that's enough with the picture. I feel like either you didn't. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> it's my selfie. I feel like you didn't come because you were like, I need my night off, or you might have left town. I think you were out of town because I remember walking <laughs> your dog. <laughs> Josh, you're gonna make me cry. Oh my god! Why? It's Jennifer Waldman. Oh my god! Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Jen was our Nessa. Wow, none of you have. None of you have. You're (laughs) also perfectly beautiful, wonderful baby. Oh, Josh. (laughs) How are you? I'm good. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. I totally forgot my headphone thingies, and my husband literally just like ran to get me his, and I can't connect them to this computer. So, no worries. I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? I'm in Massachusetts. Is that where you live? No, I live in the city, but okay. we we were supposed to go out of town for my daughter's spring break. And of course, all the flights were canceled. So we were like, well, let's go to my in-laws house in Massachusetts for two weeks, which is now going to turn into however long. A long time. It yeah. turns into. Yeah. Uh, school supposedly starts on, on Monday online, but we'll see how oh, it goes. Online, yeah. yeah. How old is your kid? I oh. You guys, <laughs> just take a breath. Ten. Oh, I was like, if she says 13, oh, I'm falling yeah. over. I can We're take it. Josh? Josh? <laughs> Josh? Josh has gone. 10? 10. Wow. 10 years old. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. But I have not seen, I saw you, Josh, at the UArts showcase, but you ran out so fast I didn't get to see you. No. But I haven't seen Megan or Shoshana, and I literally don't know how long. Too long. Uh uh, it's been at least 10 years. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think. Wow. Wow. Congrats on Am I the only one that's drinking? For 10 years. <laughs> drinking? Oh, good. Okay. All right. All right. Are you kidding me in times of love and cholera? <laughs> Stop saying. <laughs> that's that, that's what this time is called in times of love and cholera. <laughs> Um, no, even my mom's drinking right now. Like she doesn't drink. And I was like, what are you doing today? And she's like, I'm going to the neighbors. We're going to socially distance and have wine. Mm-hmm. And I was like, mm-hmm. all right, Evie. Evie. Go for it. Aww. Go for it. You know what one of my favorite memories was? Was uh, Shoshana, your incredible mommy, threw us like a, a dinner or a barbecue or something at her mm-hmm. house in Beaverton. Oh, yeah. I mean, thank God someone remembers because I'm like, mm, she did. Yeah, oh, yes, she we did. I remember. There. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she brought out your bat mitzvah album. Wait, really? Yeah, I don't have any pictures of it. I don't. Thank God. I if you wish I did. Him, I, I have. God. I have a couple of pictures from that, but I don't know that if they're in my phone. From my bat mitzvah. <laughs> 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 yes. Oh. Yeah. I oh. did some research before this, and I found that would be some serious blackmail <laughs> material because they're humiliating. No, I was they're not. Very, oh yeah, I was so emotional. So I like mm. fully had a meltdown during my um, speech. You know, you give the speech after oh. you do your haftarah, you put the Torah away, and then you have to make a speech about what your haftarah was about. And you know, they really encouraged you to make them very personal. So I was talking about how, you know, about my they always tell you to acknowledge like the grandparents who have passed on and whatever. And I just fell apart. And so oh. I literally put my head on the freaking pull on the beam and just sobbed. And they were like, Oh, sh- <laughs> should we come? Aww. Like no one can come to you. Like eventually the cancer got up and was like, I don't, Aww. but it was, yeah, I was so extra. I wish you would have started singing a show tune. Like what was, the, what was a song back then that you would have loved? 
You know, I mean, like, it would have been from Funny Girl. It would have yeah, been surprising. It would have been just like, don't tell me not to love. Sure. sure. <laughs> it would or have like, been a- on my own, <laughs> pretending he. <laughs> I love you, Safta. On my own. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. My mom will be so tickled that you remember that. You know? Oh, God. I love your mom. I love her so much. She's just an angel. And Megan, your family too invited us. Oh, she's looking at Yeah, we at went pictures. to Meg's house pictures. too in Seattle. Yeah, oh. we, went to, we went to my house oh. and my sister got so drunk and started like. Yelling at Sebastian in the hot tub. <laughs> I do not. Was I there? I don't remember this. I don't know. I don't know. But she like she was like letting him have it over like for what? I, I, nobody knows. Like even the people that were sitting there were like, "What's happening?" Wow. Yeah. Oh God, it was so great. Um, but here's another. <laughs> photo oh yeah us when we swapped, we swapped yeah. her dresses. oh you yeah. have to send that to alan how, oh my how do gosh I, how do I, send this? I just remember being so proud that like i could fit into megan's dress i, I felt like, the same way about yours i, I was like have oh, i can't get this into this funny this is amazing oh i have one right here on my wall megs you do oh shit i unplugged again hold on hi jen Wait, do, do i um, email this Oh, email, email or text. It's fine. To Josh, I lost my. Um, to me. to Alan, I'll uh give you his. I no no no. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Well, I've got one to send to Alan too. Oh, we swapped wigs. Oh yeah. my god! I love that wasn't picture. as exciting to me as as no, fitting into her dress. I love I love that picture though. <laughs> Did the three of you do it in New York together as well? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Weren't you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's so yeah. much of it blends yeah. together in my brain. It was sure. a very long time ago. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It hurts it, my feelings a little bit. Yeah. It was it. a ve- well, I just wish that I had more like self esteem back then or like more, yeah. you know, like that's just yeah. what I wish I that yeah. I could have really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel the same. We, we went yeah. back, you know, for the anniversary this fall. And they were like, come see the show, like take over our Instagram, you know. And I was like, see the show. Huh. I don't know okay. if I can do that. I don't know so if I I took Asmoret with me, who was, you know, uh in the in the Broadway cast with Megan and I. And yeah. She, um, and we just like wept. And I think that was the saddest mm-hmm. part to me is I'm like, yeah. young me had no idea what this was, what it yeah. would mean, what a gift I had been given. I had no idea how massive it was. From the inside, it just feels like you're doing your job. From the outside, it is such a massive thing. And again, the self-esteem of like just most of the time, I just felt like I didn't deserve it and shouldn't be there. So right. like I'm oh, again, yeah. missing. Oh, that missing was most it. of it. Yeah. Um. So it's sad. I wept again, sad for like, as Megan was saying, for a younger version of myself, like you poor thing. Like you, yeah. no one said like, this is awesome. Have fun. You're great. You deserve it. Just go no. give it. Give them hell. They quite literally said the off. off, off <laughs> the opposite. Opposite. Like, right. <laughs> yeah. You're terrible. What are you doing? Seventy yeah. girls are waiting in line behind you. Yeah. Yeah. You're disposable. Nobody said that, but like, no, that was the no. feeling for sure. Yeah. No. You know, I used to say, "Show me on the doll where wicked touched you." I. St- I know. Well, I still can't. <laughs> I still can't see the show. I've had a lot of friends go into I it, and I love them. Either. And I, I'm like, I'll watch your bootlegs, like on YouTube. I'll, I'll watch yeah, your I moments. Can. I love you, but I just can't go there yet. I gotta um, tell you, it was really healing, though. You know, yeah. it was really, really healing to be able to, like, you know, have it come up and and feel it and forgive it and you know, forgive myself and yeah. And also, like, I feel like it for me, it just felt like now that I know that for myself, because Megan and I have talked about this with a lot of different things in, in the business, being a woman, she's talked about it, about being a mother, you know, there's not a lot of, there's a lot of conversations that are off limits, that are taboo, that uh, people are too proud or uncomfortable or scared to discuss. And it just made me think like, this is one of those conversations, like any girl that puts on that makeup, that is wants to have a conversation like I'm an open book. I'm here to support mm-hmm. you. I'm here to empower you. Not just the green girls, but like any 
newcomer that gets thrust into a massive opportunity before they've like feel like they've earned it or before they've before they have the tools to like take the slings and arrows that come with it and and right. so i think it was really important to be like this is a this has got to be an open conversation you know because yeah. right? the damage I, is extensive yeah <laughs> i i always uh as as crazy as it was for us a bajillion years ago, I really like. I can't imagine what it's like to do it now when everybody's performance is online, it, and it is like a. It seems like a game to to compare everybody and stuff yeah. like that. I don't think I. I don't think I could handle that. Like I. No way. Mm -hmm. I can barely handle social media right now. Like it. It hurts too much now. So so I don't know yeah. that I could. I, I don't I don't know I don't know what that would look like for me because it's it's a whole different ball game for for the people that are doing yeah. it now. Well, what was it like for the three of you back then? Because remember, Wicked was like the Hades town when we were doing it. Like it was the it was it, it was a hit. Yeah, it was the thing. Yeah, but it was like there was a turning point that happened a little bit later where the entire world knew about it. Like yeah. there was a moment, I think right when I started was when YouTube was like a new thing. And mm -hmm. so the first thing was like, I tried to manage what videos were going up. I would privately message all these unknown users and be like, this wow. is against the law. Please take it down. These are not meant to be seen on camera. They are live experiences. And then I realized that was fruitless. Um, but so it was just like, we didn't have really MySpace or Facebook or nothing had happened yet. So we had some anonymity to an extent. And right. then I feel like the tipping point came like a year or two later, like about the time you guys came to LA about the, like every, yeah. then it that's, just like, that's when it really, yeah. So yeah. I was spared. I, not so much you potentially, but it, uh, yeah, now it's just, it's all sort of, I mean. Yeah. continued it's like we can't get a break it's like they're still posting videos from 14 years ago i know yeah yeah uh. wild but also i also can easily say like the reason i get to tour the world and go to places i do and do the gigs oh, i do and teach yeah. is because of it's that because show of and the videos. yeah yeah so, yeah yeah sure also, though i i do think that all of you would have had those opportunities without Wicked. It would have been something else. You three are some of the most powerful performers and artists and also caring women and people that I've ever met. And I've learned, I learned so much from you in our time at that silly show. Mm -hmm. You know, like Shoshi, when I was like, in love with everything and everyone and hated myself. And like, you would be like mama hen in your dressing room be like, what's going on? Like, you know, Megan, you kept me laughing all the time. And <laughs> you were always so welcoming and lovely. And Jen, my God, I just had no experience as an actor. Oh my God. We get to say the story. I was like, Jen could be like, key king backstage and like having so much fun and then sit in the chair go on stage for the governor's mansion <laughs> scene and nail it yeah. and meanwhile like I'm like trying to be Meisner and doing whatever I can like hiding under oh. bushes to like oh. get to Buck Gosh. you know I wanted so bad to be good and um, finally yes. it's like Jen how do you do it how, like like how do, how do you just f laugh and then go out there and do it she went just do the scene, layman. And that's when I started rolling around on stage. You know, like, there was it was one particular self-conscious moment where you were like, I don't think they yeah. like me today. They're not laughing at my jokes. I don't think they like me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I was just like, do the scene, layman. <laughs> just Elaine stretch. Just do the damn scene. Just do the scene, oh layman. Yes! Oh, I love this. <laughs> That is one of my favorite photos of all time. <gasps> oh, my God. Take oh, me out. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, Jen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I have dear. memories, but I feel like they're not appropriate for a live stream. And I don't yes, want to. Yes, they are. I can't put anyone in that position. Yes, you can. No. Put me Wait. in that position. Who would you yeah. be putting in a position? You and I. You and I together. Yeah. 
Oh. Can you give me a hint? <laughs> Patrick Moosney. The stagehand who made the cookies. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's okay, right? I don't know. I, I want you to I be comfortable. Know. I, don't I never got any like, cookies. Why would you say that? You have to ask nicely. May I tell the story of what matinees sometimes looked like? <laughs> but I didn't do them before matinees. No, no, no. We did them on like a Saturday night. Oh, a Saturday night. Right, right, right. After yeah. the show. So Patrick. I think we've basically told the story. Yeah. <laughs> I said it by name. I shouldn't. Now it's I've screwed everything. Yeah, but there yeah, was but a you. guy who made magic cookies on the road. <laughs> shall remain nameless. <laughs> and we would. You know, it felt like safe to do on a Saturday Saturday night post two shows, knowing we had one on Sunday and then a day off. But there was something about his cookies that, like, they'd come back and get you the next day. Yeah, they so, lingered. Like, yeah, we would eat on Saturday night, and then we would be in the middle of popular. And I'd look at her and I'd be like, "Oh God, I'm feeling it again." And she was like, "Me too." <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd be like, "Is my mic on? It's me." <laughs> Am I outlaw voice? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my, that's my favorite memory of like Toronto. Was just that like was um, it was cold. It was cold. Oh, it was freezing. It was and awful. I got my puppies there. I remember. Oh, yeah. yeah, my Canadian puppies. Yes, I, I the babysat baby them crate. when I had yeah. strep throat. Oh. Right. Yeah. You had to like yeah. go to America for something. I forget what. She was um, always going to America. She missed uh, the matzo ball. She oh, missed right. the throat. <laughs> She's I'm a very monster. important. I, I got to go to America. She had to go to America. I had to go to America. I had a similar experience. I think it was our first week in Canada. And for whatever reason, we did have two shows that Sunday. And... Oh, the rest of the run, it was just one show on Sunday because I went home after the matinee thinking that we were done. And I got high as fuck. And then Rolando like called me and was like, he was like, hey, boo, you almost here? And I was like, I was like, I'm at my home, girl. What's going on? He was like, oh, well, you need to get here for the show. And I was like, yeah, of course I do. I'll be right there. And I was high oh, yeah. as fuck, but I forgot my contacts at home. Oh my god! And I did the show blind, blind and high as fuck. <laughs> and it's wicked, and things are moving, and lights are everything, oh, and people god. are gargoyles and witches and geek geeks, geeks. Oh, and no. you know it's wicked. <laughs> and it was absolutely you know, terrifying. The Emerald City Gargoyles. I don't yeah. remember a gargoyle, but sure. There's sure. a song where the Emerald Gargoyles. We don't like witches. Are you high now? No. <laughs> I shouldn't be. You I'll did that. Did we know that you were wow. high and blind? No, because I thought that I would get fired. I was so scared. I probably oh. avoided everybody and like hid in the bathroom in my oh, dressing God. room. So paranoid. Oh, you know, Jen Hoffman can't know. She can't know. She'd say, you know what she'd say? Just do the same. Do the same. Do the same. <laughs> That's an incredible memory, Josh. I am blown away with all these details. Oh, gosh. It was such a thrilling time in my life. Oh. At least that part for me, you know, was very incredible. Toronto specifically. Toronto <laughs> was fun. When we went to the Radio City Anti Hanukkah Spectacular. <gasps> Yes, they hate Jews there. Oh, they hated Jews. What? I, uh, no, I'm just <laughs> kidding. It was no, you know, the Radio City show with the Rockettes, but in Toronto and Nazis. I'm just kidding. They didn't have Nazis in the show. But I remember taking pictures with you outside the theater being like... We were like, we're at a Christmas show. We don't know why. Yeah, this is awful. <laughs> um, Jen, when did you get so passionate about teaching because Jen Waldman Studios is literally the place that I send everybody. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you for that. Well, thank you for creating a company that really is about nurturing artists and creating a community because I really believe we are not each other's fucking competition. Thank we you. are each other's community. Mm -hmm. And that is important because we picked a very difficult career. No matter how, where you get to, it's going to be difficult. Yeah. Well, honestly, it was the year that I was on tour with you, 2006. Wow. 
Yeah, because prior to that, when I was doing Wicked in New York, I was really moonlighting. I was teaching during the days and then doing the show uh, and then teaching on Mondays too. And once we were on the road, I was flying back to New York almost every day off to teach. And eventually wow. it was like, wow, okay, I have, I have to make a decision because both of these things take equal amounts of attention. And yeah, so after Wicked, I made the leap. Wow. Wow, that's very cool. It's really neat. You have one of the like biggest acting studios, I think, in the city. It's uh, pretty crazy. We had wow. people in twenty six or twenty seven Broadway shows last year. I mean, just whoa! Wow. Yeah. Well, it's not crazy. It's you. You have a heart, and you have a passion, and you know it's really special. And I'm really proud of you, Nessa. <laughs> Thanks, Bach. Totally. It sucks that you turn me into silver, batch. Um, <laughs> I, <didn't wanna> PS, <laughs> I was still digging silver out of my fucking ears for like three months after <laughs> after I was done. I believe it. I think there's We're still glitter all over my house <laughs> here in Los Angeles. <laughs> 15 years ago. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. I don't know. At wow. Four, I don't know. It started. Like fifteen years ago, right? Something. Yeah. Shoshi and Meg. When did you two meet each other? I uh, remember. I, I think I. I think I remember a different point because I remember watching you walk into the theater and you were fabulous. You were. You had glasses and dress and heels and bag and on the phone that was bedazzled and you were walking in the stage door and I was standing outside the stage door going. I think that's my new teammate. I think that, I think that's her. Just yeah, that's faking it till she makes it. I was like, yeah, I think that's her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there oh, she is. There she is. Babies. We had, we had no fun at all. None. No <laughs> fun at all. Wow. I remember sitting on the back step at the top of the stairs at the Gershwin in the very back of the theater by like the sound booth watching the show. Like, cause I, feel like I had just started and you were already there. You had already started rehearsals before me. Yes. For standing I by. Think so. Yeah. 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 yeah Cause so me we and Eden started. were there for a little while together Got before okay. she left. Yeah. So we both started as standbys mm -hmm. and she had started before me and um, we hadn't rehearsed together yet, but I was watching the show from the back of the house and she came, I feel like you came up behind me or you came and you were like, ah, yeah, and it was just. And everybody's like, "Shh, there's a show going on." <laughs> we had a full kiki. <laughs> Dina stopped the show and was like, um, "And I was like, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I'm, I'm part of the show. Yeah, we're we'll <laughs> not just a moment, but it will be. It's, it's fine." Um, but yeah, you know, her smile and her energy it was just infectious. I, you know, she completely disarms and you fall in love right away, and that's what it was. Yeah. Aw, you guys. <laughs> Oh man. That's yeah, it was crazy. Cool. It was so long ago. So long ago. Yeah, it's nuts how how much life has changed since then. Well, literally right now. <laughs> well, yes, right yeah. now in yeah. times of love and cholera. Oh. And cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Shoshana, will you please write a song called In Times of Love and Cholera for me? Yes. And can we make it a duet for the actor's fund? <laughs> yes. And these four people will be the only ones to download it. And can we add in a one ticket? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Great. That makes now sense. what? I say, what's the big idea bashing me on the noggin with a rolling pin? That does not sound like that riff. It's no. like a stuttering. What uh, 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 I say, you know what I mean? Like it's like a he's referencing like the stuttering of it. No, nope, but it's one second. Ah, ooh, ooh. Oh, um, I have a Patreon. Is there what? another surprise guest? No. Oh, I was just waiting for it. Like, <laughs> no, I know. I I <laughs> really wanted bunch. to. Um, yeah. you know, it's hard because it's an hour show, but um, a fan of your Shoshana, Sean Stevens, wants oh. to know. If anything inspired your final riff in Define Gravity in your last show, I think <laughs> it was like 
I have, they can't yell at me anymore because I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> so I'm going to see, and it's horrible. Like people love to tag me in it. Like I want to hear it. And it's so bad. Like I would never as a musician today be like, that was a great choice. Oh. Um, but it for me was like, I don't know. There was also just like so much emotion that last day and so much energy, like, you know, happy to be done, sad to be done, like triumph and pride for what we've accomplished. And like, if I never sing Defying Gravity again, for all the being under the thumb of like, stop riffing, stop alternate noting, stop, stop, stop. I was like, I'm taking the lid off. Yeah. <laughs> and um, two years worth of riffs came out in freaking 30 seconds. My uh, my last show, and I did get permission to do it, but it was so ridiculous. I was like, mm -hmm. let's dance. Let's dance. And, um, <laughs> the st and the stage manager, Amy, she was, I think, dating or married to the conductor, Boko. And I got off stage. She was like, Burr! and I was like, your husband gave me permission. Now what, Amy? Amy <laughs> Happy and trails, Boko. Amy. <laughs> Happy trails, Amy. Amy. Have fun in Schenectady, Amy. Oh. Um, no, I just love you, Amy. But that was <laughs> what oh I did. My oh my gosh, Amy made the most delicious Thanksgiving dinner I've ever had in my life, and every year I think about her stuffing. So, Amy, if you're listening. That's stuffing. Send stuffing. On. Send, stuffing. <laughs> Send me <laughs> stuffing, please. <laughs> wow. Um, you guys' memories. Jeez. Uh, I have a funny story, unless you uh, the, yes! the funny memory. Um, so I kept getting this note at the beginning of the show, right before Shoshana's entrance. Uh, you know, she runs downstage and I'm supposed to go and then like look at her. They said I, it looked like I was presenting her too much. So they wanted me to wait until I saw her in my peripheral vision, like a green something in, in my peripheral and then go, oh, you know, instead of like, because it just looks so I was and I kept thinking that I was doing that correctly, but I kept getting that note. So I was like, OK, I'm just really going to wait until I see her like really. And that night, all I saw was a green flash go by. And I was like, wait, is she there? I I don't see her. I don't see her in my peripheral. So should I should I look at her? I don't want to like fuck this up again. Uh, but it, by that time, you know, it's already too late. So I just looked and she wasn't there. But I knew that I'd seen her like go. I I look around and I look in the pit where Shoshana is standing on the net that is only meant to catch props to protect the musicians in the pit. But Shoshana is standing there just looking up. She puts her hand up. And I think I gave you my wand. I feel like it was hand? your hand. I feel my like hand? you initiated it. I feel like I was like, I didn't know what to do. And you were like, got her. In got her character, the pit. by the way, Megan did not break character or make let on that anything could potentially be wrong at all she just walked down stage Pulled with her, her eyes big. and then i went <laughs> 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 instead of like, <laughs> i hope you got a note that night that was like it still looks like a mean, little bit presenty i won't Even ever forget you that that was so hilarious life. you still you were still like presenting it looks like you're presenting <laughs> um oh <sighs> <laughs> yeah, remember when you ran into the pit? Yeah, I can't. No one, no one will let me live it down. Yes, That's I ran terrifying. Into the pit. Keep um, in mind, like this was not any pit or stage. The stage is what is thirty percent right? Yeah, it's big. It's big hill. Yeah. So too much momentum. Like just, I was that excited to get on stage. Well, I feel like they had been giving you a lot of notes too to really have that energy and really like. So between the two of us getting noted to fucking death, you're in the pit and I'm, what should I present? Do, do I, I save her? her? I don't know. What do I do? Um, you saved it. You saved it. Was the saved audience like, oh shit. Or were they, they like, had, nobody brilliant. noticed anything. They're like, Leslie, I have friends there. Yeah. Leslie Odom Jr. And Griffin. Was Griffin there too? Yes. 
two fine, fine actors were in the audience that night, friends of Megan's who went to Carnegie Mellon, professionally trained, you know. Uh, they didn't know. They didn't know They had anything. no idea. They thought it was part of it. Like, yeah. she was so excited to get to college. That she <laughs> ran into the pit? Like, that just They bought it. We sold it, Megan. We, we sold it. Sold ice to Eskimos. That it, was, it was the this that. moment. Yeah. It was, it was that. That sold it instead Did you of. Think you fished me out with your wand? I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember if I gave him my wand or if I gave him <laughs> because you were really far down. Yeah, it was terrifying. It was, it was really far down, so I, I can't remember if I leaned over and like, or just gave you a. I feel like it was your hand. Some wand action. I was sure. always afraid that I was going to kill Nessa in the fucking wheelchair. Like oh, I, I was just going to like ruin thing, her life. That thing car was hard to manage. Yes. What? Yeah. I just Ooh. don't understand like the initial design for most of the stuff. Like most of the most of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That that second. We're all going to get a call so from David Stone. <laughs> They had to give me multiple pillows because I'm yeah. a tiny person. I'm very I short. I could not reach the wheels. So I had like multiple pillows behind me. It was ridiculous. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I always crazy. got the note every day. It was like, just remember, you're in love with Glinda. And I was like, Got it. Yeah. Yeah, but I've written that down a thousand <laughs> fucking times, but thanks, genius. Um <laughs> <laughs> literally his entire plot line. Yeah. Thanks, I know, James. I know. He's Shen Shen with Act Two, with an Act Two, you know. <laughs> yeah. Shen Shen with Act Two. <laughs> Shen Shen is Wicked humor. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um Friends, I love you all so much. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. And uh, please know that that you are so loved. You are so important. Stay home. Please. Relax. You don't have to do shit. Literally, whatever the voices in your head are saying, you don't have to do shit. If you work out, good for you. If you don't work out, good for you. Like, who fucking cares? I love you guys. And you three, thank you for being three incredible role models in my life, three incredible friends. And uh, I just love the fuck out of you. I love you, Josh. I love you, ladies. Mwah. This was awesome. Cool. All right. Well, we'll Good see night. you on Wednesday at 9 p.m. with some of the cast of company. Okay. Ooh.